Oh yeah. Well, can you hold it out a bit more? My yeah, arms aren't long enough. We did a slight change this morning. This is where we stayed last night. This is none of our property. Now, Pretty we're on the main, main road, road, and guess what? It was noisy. No shh. <laughs> well, we had a bit of a mishap because the, the junction to the middle which is there, which is where we're intending to go. Oh, uh, Tom's being taken for a walk by Ethel. But it was absolutely chocker because of some football match. And we've got this last one of the 48 hour moorings. So, hang on. This is how you exercise a dog. You don't you don't move yourself. Two strategically placed parents. <laughs> Ethel. <whistles> oh, she's <laughs> she's getting tired there. All right, I think she's had enough. How far today? Did you really just say, or oh, we'll do a quickie before we go? You heard about the camera, not. I got confused. You're not that smutty channel. Sorry, forgot. We've started this video with her ladyship doing her daily exercise, and now we're continuing the journey. See, the problem is, I think, as we said, it was very busy at the Bar Bridge, wasn't it? Yeah. And there's a junction just by there that we wanted to go down. I don't want to reverse, we'll make a big save. <laughs> if we'd still got mucker that had bow thrusters, I would reverse down to that very busy junction. We will. But we're going to go a couple of miles down to Calvary. I hope we can turn around. Turn around and come back. Because it's a pleasant day. And then we're going to do a left onto the middle which I know we've had a leisurely start but it's two o'clock in the bloody afternoon. I know but we had a busy day yesterday. If you remember the ants yesterday. Yes I remember the tight roping tight tight, tight roping. roping ants. Tight they were, they were ants, man eating yeah. ants. So come with us. Well, busy A51. Apparently, you said it was quite noisy in the night. Yeah. What did I say? Well, I got about half twelve one, and I thought I've had enough. Oh, for God's sake! S some moron has left all the windows open. That's so me. I decided to, to just, you know, close one. The one that was right by my ear. So I just, I just sat up. Just bit. As soon as I went to close it, what did you say? I've no idea. I was asleep. Down. <laughs> I mean, you're the bloody that's peeping beat. That, do you think you are? That's strong nighttime medication for you. Well, I don't know. Who does he think he is? You know, I've got Who no Who is bite. she? Yeah, but, oh, she's dead, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. You, you can't take the mickey out of it. I love Nikki Graves so much. She was amazing. Yeah. I mean, oh, all right. Nikki Graves was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love her. She's still dead. We're, we're coming up to a relatively new bridge. Which means, what does new bridges mean? They're built with, not with boats in mind. No, they're, they're built with the cheapest in mind. So literally, it's tight as a tight thing. Well, we're going to see if we can get through it without hitting the sides. We haven't done yet. Can I ask you a question? You know these t-shirts you bought? You bought. I understand them, right? You understand them? The t-shirts? But why are they down to... I mean, they're lower than you. Gentlemen well, things. Because, you know, I'm prone to going out into the street with no trousers on. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. Well, oh, that's too long. Oh. Hey up. Be up. Quack quack. See up.
So we've done one of the worst design bridges on the network and we didn't meet a boat coming the other way, did we? What did we meet? What did we, we met two boats coming the other way. I can't understand why I think that you talk to me so thick. Oh, give me a minute. Oh. Give me a frying pan. You had a frying pan. Yeah, it broke. It yeah. broke. Yeah. This frying pan broke. Oh, I've still got that lump I on the back admit, of my I'm head. I must admit, I'm the only one. No, ha, ha, ha. No, never hit me with a frying pan. But anyway. No. How did I actually manage to get a frying pan to leak? I've never had a frying pan leak before. It was leaking. I had a crack in the middle of was it. Was it that little girl's kitchen set you had? It was called a Boaties frying pan. Uh, I love my boat is fry pan, but it, it, it cracked in the middle. You're going to tell me now I had it on too hot or something? I know nothing about frying pans. I used one once to make some pancakes. Yeah, whenever you do pancakes they're always like lumpy and wrong, whereas when I do them... No, I have to disagree. I've got two types of pancakes, some that are absolutely brilliant, full of texture and taste. And others that are just lumps of Actually, do you know what? wet flour. The, be the best one, right, I can't remember it being a birthday or whatever, because we don't really drink much, but I drank quite a bit that day, right, and I made some pancakes drunk. And it was, it was such a shame because, one, they were perfect, but the problem was, because we were, we were drunk, we couldn't remember how we'd done it. Drunk? No, you'd had drunk, so. But I couldn't remember how we'd made them so nice. Yeah, but while we're talking about culinary it. delights, what? what's the best thing you've ever baked? And, and, and it could be an entry into Bake Off. Skakes. Skakes. It's a cross Tell between scones and cake. I was trying to make, what was I trying to make? You were trying to make... A cake. Was it a cake? I can't remember. Well, whatever you were trying to make, it came out a combination of the two. And they tasted very nice. I bet at some point they're going to tell me that skakes are always a thing and... Or you could work well, out not where we're wrong. from, they aren't. I mean, whatever I did wrong, basically, it was almost like... It, 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 it looked disgusting, it tasted amazing, but I think it's because I put a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, if you, don't, if you just remembered the recipe, there'd still be only you ever making them. Why have you got the guard on? Because they didn't move in. Now this is a first. When Tom was out this morning, I cut my hair. We well, need to stay stuck. Well, I need to be able to reach the long. teller. And he says I've missed half of it. Ow! Oh come on! Just take my ear off. Well, come forward a bit. I can't. I can't reach the teller. Okay. Right, lean forward. I can't see where we're going. We're fine. Well, this is going to look great for the insurance clerk. You're in my way. Hey up! Hey up! Right. Oh I've, I've got the chill a minute, I've got the chill. Well, fold, quickly, quickly. Right, turn, turn, turn. Now, while we're going into the bank. Just hurry up. No, we're Tom. We're not going to a bank. Just, just hurry up and get this done. Turn round. Do the way. Quickly, quickly. And go. Oi, language. Ow. Good. Turn round, don't want to see you back. <laughs> the back of your neck, you fruitcake. I've got more air on my back right, than I have on my head. Is that it? Are you making a fuss about that? Well, oh, I'll actually, I'll piss that bit. Ethel, don't worry, it's not your turn next. I can't, Tom, I need to see where we're going. You're the one I'm bloody doing. Oh. Oh, uh, hang on, you've forgotten my beard distractor. I don't know if one can see behind, but there's a boat gone full on sewers. I think he's... <laughs> oh dear. He's, I think he's trying to turn it manually. But I think he hasn't realised that his boat's longer than the canal is wide. So this poor chap here... I'm glad, glad we... Oh, oh, hello, well look where we're going. Yeah, full on sewers.
So, Tom, what do you think of that winding? You did that great. Winding hole. Well, I mean, it was a bit complicated because the gentleman yeah. needed to get his lady friend off. Somebody come out of the locks at Bunbury, but he hadn't picked up his crew. Yes, yeah, so if he yeah, and we were turning. So and we were, we were in the middle of the winding hole. Oh, <laughs> it got me. It all went spiffingly well. Yeah. Now we're going back to where we started Good from. Cat. Ah, that's what's up with our ladyship. Actually, there was another one. There's a black. It's there, black and white one. They're waiting for the boat to come back, I guess. Oh, have you been abandoned? I'm guessing the boat will be back in a bit. Meow. Before you come for Susan. Uh, what's God? Do you live here? Don't talk to strangers. Did you know there's another cat down there? Go and say hello. Oh, it looks a bit wild, doesn't it? Hello. Hello. <coughs> oh. <coughs> you dying? Oh, well, we're all dying. Now we're just approaching a bridge, and when we, because we've just been down there to twizzle round. And you got a boat. Behind Where's that you? boat come from? Anyway, we're just approaching a tight bridge, but when we were approaching it coming in the other direction, there was a bloke waving me on like, we're sem semaphorians like he does, sem semaphorians. And I couldn't figure out, but he was getting closer and closer, and he was reversing <laughs> to the water point. Can't fault him, but a bit confusing when you when it's semaphorians. And cut. So, Come and join me. Oh, you that Hello. We're almost, we've just done that craziest bridge in the world again. I was in my own little world then. I know you were. I thought I'd tempt you into mine and Ethel's. We're, we've been to Wind, down by there, and we're hoping that we're going to have the same mooring spot that we had last night, and but I pointing can, the other way. I can honestly say, I don't think that's going to happen because so many boats have gone that way and it's time of day, you know. Well, there was what's known as a <laughs> down there at, and he was adding this. Shit, that's not, no, no it, it was a, a boat that needed work An done. enormous amount of work done. John, we've got Russia, we've got here and there. Yeah, but we have floorboards down over the engine. Uh, so anyway, he might be down here if he is. We we don't want to go up in a fireball, so we won't be more in next to him. Wow, he's always giving me funny looks. This well, because you're always does anybody a, know who he is? You're always a prat. Anyway, we'll we'll probably shut off here now because we always end up arguing when we're mooring up and, and I'm sure you've all seen that plenty of times before. Why did you shave that bit of your face? Did it offend you? Have you tried using a wet razor blade with this? <laughs> you cut my hair! You cut the back of my head! It's like it's going, it's like, don't worry about it, it'll be alright! I'm like, ah! Well, you shouldn't be so tight, you, you should go and get your hair cut. You took my bloody skin off my neck! 